<laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's a lively day in the Spang House here. <laughs> Thank you for joining us Monday morning. Nice and crisp outside. First day of July. Yes. And uh, it's pretty pretty chilly. Yeah. Seven one. Yeah. I'm glad it's pretty chilly though. I like. Yeah. It, it was. Yeah. Nice and refreshing in there. So we're in Isaiah chapter forty eight. Isaiah chapter. We didn't. Talk beforehand. Do you want to read the whole oh, thing? Oh, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 48, Stubborn Israel. Listen to this, O house of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Israel and come from the line of Judah, you who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness, you who call yourselves citizens of the holy city and rely on the God of Israel. The Lord Almighty is his name. I foretold the former things long ago. My mouth announced them and I made them known. Then suddenly I acted and they came to pass. For I knew how stubborn you were. The sinews of your neck were iron. The forehead was, your forehead was bronze. Therefore I told you these things long ago. Before they happened, I announced them to you so that you could not say, my idols did them, my wooden image and my metal god ordained them. You have heard these things, look at them all. Will you not admit them? From now on, I will let you, of, I will tell you of new things, of hidden things unknown to you. They are created now and not long ago. You have not heard them of them before today. So you cannot say, yes, I knew of them. You have neither heard nor understood. From, an, from of old your ear has not been open. Well, do I know how treacherous you are. You are called a rebel from birth. For my own namesake, I delay my wrath. For the sake of my praise, I hold it back from you so as not to cut you off. See, I have refined you, though not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. Listen to me, O Jacob, Israel, whom I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. My own hand laid the foundations of the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I summon them, they all stand up together. Come together, all of you, and listen. Which of the idols has foretold these things? The Lord's chosen ally will carry out this, his purpose against Babylon. His arm will be against the Babylonians. I, even I, have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I will bring him, and he will succeed in his mission. Come near me and listen to this. From the first announcement, I have not spoken in secret. At a time it happens, I am there. And now the sovereign Lord has sent me with his spirit. This is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river, your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would have been like the sand, your children like its numberless grains. Their name would never be cut off, nor destroyed from before me. Leave Babylon, free, flee from the Babylonians, announce this with shouts of joy and proclaim it. Send it out to the ends of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. They did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow for them from the rock. He split the rock and water gushed out. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Okay. Did you think I was abandoning yeah, you? Yeah, I know. I was, you were going to be doing the I knew what you were yourself. doing, but I was like, he's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> I had an itch in my throat. I had to get a drink. Um, so I got a drink now. It's in there. Okay. Just, just, just start a sudden Our kitchen start. isn't far. Mm. No, so let's pray. Okay. <clears throat> Father God, thank you for the, your word, the truth of your word. Thank you so much for your amazing grace. And teach us now, uh, help us, Lord God, to learn from Israel to not have a stubbornness of heart, but to have a heart that is open to you, open to learning, open to being taught, and changed and molded by you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So here we are. Um, and um, he's, I, I, this kind of struck me here. Um, in verse 1 right off the bat you who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel but not in truth or righteousness and you know I was just thinking how 
perverse that is and how we do the same thing today. Um, you know, it's easy to pick on like politicians who are always like invoking the name of God, but then saying and doing something that is against the will of God, mm -hmm. but they're still like, you're invoking the name of the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness. Mm -hmm. And just this, this pervasive evilness that's in, our, in people's hearts. And they think, hey, we're going to use the name of God. And then we're going to go and do something that's exactly against his will. So it's, it's just stunning. Yeah, to I just see, as we've seen when we've been going through, since we've been going through Isaiah, that the Lord is speaking to Isaiah very boldly in this. I mean, he's they're mincing no words. He's laying it all out for yeah. him in this in this chapter. Yeah. And, I, and um, it's like, listen to you, this, O house of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Israel. So Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and then Jacob is renamed by God to mm -hmm. Israel. Um, but he's like, you know, like when you're upset with a child and you, you're going to like, you use the whole name yes. or something yes. like that. <laughs> like, Might have done that a couple times. <laughs> right. So this is, he's like, uh, you know, I'm reminding you who you were, Jacob, but I have called you and renamed mm. you Israel and you have abandoned me. You're back to Jacob right in there, uh, not Israel. Um, so you who call yourself citizens of the holy city right and rely on the god of israel the lord almighty is his name but they're not relying on him mm -hmm. so that's the that's the point um and then he's saying okay so you've relied on these other things they they can't save you this is over and over again in isaiah idolatry is like the mm -hmm. big issue that you know hey you've relied on these other things but now i'm going to tell you things way beforehand that are going to happen so that when they do happen, you can't say, oh, we thought of that. Oh, we knew that was coming. Mm -hmm. So I, I like how he's laying out in the last several chapters, he talks about Cyrus and all kinds mm -hmm. of other things uh, coming up. So you got to remember, this is Isaiah lived from 740 to around 740 BC to 700 BC. And that was right in the middle of the arise of the Assyrians the Assyrian Empire and the threat that Assyria had against, uh, first of all, the Northern Kingdom, which was demolished, uh, mm -hmm. Samaria, by, by the uh, Assyrians. And Jerusalem was threatened and only rescued because an angel of the Lord decimated the entire Assyrian mm -hmm. army in one night. Uh, so it's during this time, and Isaiah is given a vision that, hey, Assyria is not going to take you into captivity, but Babylon is. And I'm going to raise up somebody against Babylon. So he's speaking of this hundreds of years beforehand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to raise up somebody against Babylon that's going to crush Babylon. And he's going to be my instrument to have you guys come back from captivity in Babylon. So he's laying all this out for them. And he says, I'm telling you this beforehand so that when it happens... You can't say, um, verse 7, like the second part of it. Well, let's read all of 7. They are created now, not long ago. You have not heard of them before today. So you cannot say, yes, I knew of them. Mm -hmm. Right? So this, <laughs> I am the Lord. Uh, there is no other. All right? So. Well, because going back to verse 4, he's saying, you're so stubborn. Your neck is like iron. Your forehead is like bronze. Stiff-necked yeah. people. So he's then he's saying all these things. You know, we know. I the yeah. Lord knows how stubborn you are. Yeah. So I like it in but, verse five. So you cannot say my idols did them. Yeah. Yeah. It's over and over. It's idolatry. Idolatry. That that's. Uh, I think it was Tim Keller, the pastor. Uh, Tim Keller, who passed away recently, who said, uh, you know. Our hearts are idol-producing factories. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just we just pump out idols. What are we going to trust in other mm -hmm. than the Lord? Um, and he's like, you, you've neither heard nor understood, verse 8. You were rebels from birth. And he says, okay, you've done all this. You deserve nothing but judgment at this point. 
But he says, for my name's sake, mm -hmm. verse 9, for my own name's sake, I delay my wrath. For my, for the sake of my praise, I hold it back from review so as not to cut you, not to cut you off. Um, and then verse 11, for my own sake, for my own sake, he's repeating this, right? Mm -hmm. This is important, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not, you don't deserve this. You haven't earned this for my own sake, for my own sake. And that's true for all of us. We can all, Lord is saying that mm -hmm. to all of us. You don't earn your salvation. You don't deserve salvation. For his own name's sake, he is doing this. He is doing this because his glory can't, I will not. You know, that was your favorite. God, right? I love that. Go ahead and say that. I will not yield my glory to another. Right. The Just, glory of yes, God to forgive that. sins. He's not going to yield yeah. it to any other. You don't save yourself. I don't save myself. It is God alone mm -hmm. who has done this. So this is a great thing. So, um, and then he's saying, okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. Before you even know about Babylon, before you even care about Babylon, before you even think that there could possibly be a threat because the Assyrians are the threat, mm -hmm. I'm going to rescue you from the Babylonians. So he's, yeah. he's laying it all out for him. Um, and he says, I even I have spoken. Yes, I've called him. Verse 15. I will bring him and he will succeed in his mission. Who's him? Well, that's Cyrus. Cyrus, Cyrus the Great, who the Persian who's going to Crush the Bab crush the Babylonians and issue a decree to send them back. To you remember them. a couple chapters before he called him the Anointed One. Yeah, he's actually like yeah. the Messiah. Yeah, in, his, in essence, he's a pagan king. He's going to raise up to do his will. Mm -hmm. And so the 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 hands. This shows really the sovereignty of God. That you know we think we're in control, and he's like, yeah. Cyrus thinks he's great. Cyrus thinks he's mm -hmm. you know he's crushing the Babylonians. He goes, uh, that's part of my plan. I've had that laid out mm. long ago, so don't don't take credit for that. Um, and so he's not from the first announcement. I have not spoken in secret. You know, God isn't speaking in secret. He's had, he's not speaking in secret now. He's he he has laid out what his desire is for you and for me mm -hmm. in the in the New Testament through his Son Jesus Christ. Uh, and there's nothing hidden there. He's laid it out. He said, it says, salvation is found in no other name, for there is no other name given under heaven by which men must be saved. And that is the, the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is all laid out. It's not hidden uh, from people. And it is our job as Christians to make sure everybody knows the good news, that you give up on your self-salvation project, that God alone has, has brought salvation. Um, so he's not doing anything in secret. Uh, Jesus wasn't working in secret. <laughs> no. In, in there. Um, all right. Uh, if only you had paid attention. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I verse love, 18. Yeah, your peace would have been like the river, like a river. Yeah. Your righteousness, like the waves of the sea. I think I, the waves of the sea just keep yeah. on crashing in. It's yeah. just like, you know, that's what God wants. Constant. As our, Consistency. Yeah, as our flowing out of our life. This mm -hmm. is it. Uh, to follow the Lord, to bless others. Uh, your descendants would have been like this, the sand of the sea, uh, or this, like the sand, um, numberless as the grains. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, you know, how there's this flux in the population of Israel. Like uh, sometimes they're, you know, they're very prosperous and they're, there's many, uh, many children and their numbers are growing. And then they have an arrogance. Even David, remember David when they were he was pretty strong and secure. What does he do? He issues a census. Oh yeah. Big, yeah. big mistake. Right? And because there he say, like, I'm going to count my numbers as mm -hmm. if my power has done this. Mm -hmm. It's like the Lord brought judgment on them uh, for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, there there's times in their history where it, their, their numbers are crushed down. And I'm sure there wasn't that many, well, there wasn't a ton left in, when Babylonian captivity happened, it describes those who were left behind as a, it's a pretty desolate place where like animals start to uh, 
taking up their residence in people's homes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You right? mean the ones, okay, the ones that weren't, weren't taken. taken. The ones that weren't yeah. taken. So they took, like, in a lot of cases, they would take the the highest quality, you know, princes and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and uh, the upper echelon, because they're going to retrain them and be of some service to the to the kingdom, to the Babylonian kingdom. And then they would leave some of the peasants behind mm -hmm. to work the land. Well, it, it was pretty desolate at that point. And you used mm -hmm. to have wild animals start coming back. Mm -hmm. all, the, all those things start happening. Um, so their numbers are depleted okay. way down. Um, and then he's telling them, it says, you know, when Cyrus comes, if you're in Babylon itself, in the walled city, you better kind of get outside of the walls because uh, when he comes, mm -hmm. you could be killed by this in invasion. Mm -hmm. So he's warning them mm -hmm. in verse 20, uh, flee from the Babylonians, uh, announce it with shouts of joy. The Lord has redeemed his servant mm -hmm. Jacob. Yeah. Um, and, and then he reminds him, hey, you mm -hmm. know what? I'm the one that when you were in the wilderness, mm -hmm. I made water come from a rock. Mm -hmm. I can do this. There's no question mm -hmm. about it. But it ends with an ominous, then, yeah. an ominous warning. Yeah. <laughs> there is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's, that's, that's an ominous warning. Because where do we find our peace? Yeah. It's through Christ. Yeah. You don't have Christ in your life. Yeah. You know, he's the constant. We're the emotions up and down and up and down. It's been a good day. It's been a bad day. When you rely on Christ, he makes it everything. Not that you're not going to have a, you know, a bad day. and But he takes that burden. Yeah. So it's, uh, so it's like, that was that saying is that no Christ, no, no peace. In other words, N-O, mm -hmm. you don't have Christ. Right, right. And then there's no peace. K-N-O-W, if you know, know Christ, K-N-O-W, peace. You know mm -hmm. peace. You know, if you know Christ, you know peace. If you have no Christ, you have no peace. Right? And there it is. So uh, there is no peace for the wicked. Mm. And the wicked are those who reject it. You know, really, the unforgivable sin in the Scripture, Jesus died for the sins of the world. The unforgivable sin is rejecting the... the uh, provision that God has made you're rejecting Christ there is no other provision mm -hmm. outside there is no other name under heaven by which we must be saved Jesus said I'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me so now's the day now's the time to turn to him and put our trust in him yeah we can't yeah. earn it no Definitely not and don't it. delay don't delay today is the day mm -hmm. this is the so this is the time so maybe you pray for it. Sure. Too. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. And I just pray that you would keep us focused on Lord, on, on you, Lord. Help us, Lord. Lead us, guide us, and keep us at a peace. Mm -hmm. And I just pray, Lord, that we would not turn to others, that we would look and be focused on you this week and, and forever. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you've given us. We love you. In your name. Amen. 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 Amen, everyone. Blessings to all of you. Have a great week.